Well, first off, I think we stayed healthy today, um, which is always a goal in the spring game. Um, you know, having a season of COVID, I uh, just wanted to try to make it as fun as it could be for players, for fans maybe that hadn't had an opportunity to come that were there today. And so it seemed like the guys had fun. You know, Matt played well um, with the top three receivers there until we pulled them. So that was good to see. And defense had some turnovers and played really well at times. So, um, you know, it was it was a cool day. It was really cool that um, baseball had the big comeback win uh, right before we started, you know, which was which was neat that it happened to be on when we were finishing up warm ups. We're going to start us off with the first question. Please raise your hand. I'll call on you. Nick, go ahead. Laying a couple of long looks at uh, Kincaid and Altmaier today, just kind of what you see from those guys when they got the chance to play? Um, you know, they didn't have the top guys when they were in there, which obviously, as you can see, makes a difference for anybody. But, um, you know, we'll watch the film on that. You know, they, they made a few plays in there, and, um, you know, at times, um, had some plays maybe where some receivers could have made them that didn't make plays, you know, that would have helped them statistically. But, um, you know, just wanted to get them, even I think they both were with both teams at times, too. Parrish? Lane, I think you kind of just uh, alluded to this, but did, uh, was it harder to evaluate some of those guys today with uh, so many players uh, not available? Yeah, I think once you lose top players, then obviously that filters through your depth chart. And, you know, so sometimes those guys, you know, are with some twos, you know, that are really normally threes or fours. And, you know, that can impact. And we didn't have as many defensive people out. So, you know, you could see that show up, especially, uh, you know, when it was twos versus twos. And Johnson? Lane, if you would, just talk about what you saw between uh, with the hookups between Matt Carell and Braylon Sanders today and how Braylon can be a, a, a really good deep threat for you guys. Well, I thought, you know, Braylon, when he was healthy last year, played great. Um, you know, and uh, when out of that LSU game, he was really hot when he was going out. And, you know, I think his average per, per catch was, you know, one of the tops in the country. So, you know, just good to see him make plays and needs to stay healthy so he can have a really big year. Tyler? Lane, did anyone in particular stand out to you that we might have missed today? Um, I don't know that you would have missed. You probably could see as, as well as me. Um, so. You know, I thought um, 21 Walker, you know, did some really good things uh, with the ball. You know, we have some guys that, I mean, some of the guys you saw today, like, were not even here a week ago. So um, we had some tryouts and just found some guys. So uh, interested to see those guys thrown in there and, you know, in the spring game. Big son. Lynn, you guys spent a lot of time this week kind of hyping this up as the biggest party in the U.S. Just how do you think you guys executed on that? Well, I don't think we probably um, were the biggest in the U.S. Um, but our guys had fun. They had a good time before. And um, just, you know, trying trying to make it fun. And I thought that, uh, you know, the stuff before was pretty cool and the coaches got into it, um, you know, dressing up and all that. So. I don't know, if I was watching, I'd say that's a fun place to go. And so I'd go there. John, go ahead. Lane, you talked about how this spring you guys were looking much better defensively. Did today kind of look, you know, like do you think all the spring practices kind of led to your guys' defensive uh, performance today in terms of progression? And how do you think the defense has kind of progressed up until this point? Well, it's kind of a weird game, too, because things are mixed and, you know, it's not just all ones and twos. And so uh, it's kind of hard to, to evaluate that way. And then, you know, those top receivers, you really weren't supposed to really tackle them. That's why they were in different colored jerseys. So, 
and that probably made it a little harder to cover them, you know. So um, I look at this, the spring as a whole that, you know, I think we're a lot, we're much improved on defense. Barish, go ahead. Your question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, look, Lane, can you talk about Tyshee Johnson, the play uh, he made there with the interception? We heard his name a lot uh, this spring, and, and he just looked real physical on that play. Yeah, he's a you know really unique. Does not seem like a young kid uh, from day one when he got here. Very mature, and. You know, really good sense of feeling around him, what's going on. So, um, I think he'll be, you know, one of many uh, freshmen that that play for us. Neil, hey, Lane. I know you can't comment on specific recruits or whatnot, but obviously, you were talking about how you're trying to portray a, you know, an image that hey, this is a fun place to play and all that kind of thing. From the feedback you're getting from recruits, is that a message that's getting across? Uh, I think so. Um, again, you know, the most important thing is the product you put on the field at the end. You know, the other stuff's good. So that's why, you know, we try to be creative with it. You know, but, you know, if we can go out and play really well, you know, that'll help more than anything. Steve Moulton, WCCN. Coach, if you could speak to uh, really kind of the goals that – you wanted for this spring? Did you accomplish those? And what is your message to the team now that you're entering into the summer? Well, I think the goals of, of playing a lot of players on defense and creating competition and playing better over there, uh, we definitely did. Um, our goal will be getting a lot of these guys healthy that miss spring. And, you know, fall should be very competitive after that. <laughs>